I can remember, I'd been waiting for my parents to die. And there they were, dead. Florence? Florence! I'm pouring my guts out and you fall asleep? I did. How does that make you feel? Dear God, thank you for this time with my lovely sister and her off-again, on-again boyfriend. You really should look into making an honest woman out of her. I'm not taking relationship advice from a beige earthworm. Open the door! I told myself for the longest time you were actually gonna grow up. I hate your guts. Yeah, what else is new? I'm pregnant. Isabel, I wanna have this baby. If we're gonna have a family of our own, I'd like to see you reconnect with the one you've got. You don't know what you're asking. After my parents died, my sister escaped with third degree burns on over 80% of her body. And who have we here? This is Isabel, my girlfriend. Grandma, where's Pearl? She takes her meals in her room. Why is that? Because I find it hard to hold my food down while looking at her. We have to go, now. But what about Pearl? I can't leave unless I've made up with her. Yeah! Sit back, relax, and watch a true vessel of God do his work. She's a bad girl. She's a very bad girl. What's going on people this is speederman here once again with another film review for you guys and this time i am reviewing a film that um i didn't know exists until just the other day it's called trash fire now what is trash fire about to give you a little info on it so the story is about this guy named owen and isabel and they're having a hard time in their relationship they're always fighting uh, Owen's kind of an asshole, you know, and his girl is like fed up with him. She wants to break up with him. So in an effort to save the relationship, um, the girl, his girlfriend uh, suggests, you know, that she get to know more of um, Owen's family, you know, and um, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> when the movie really takes off. So uh, we have... Like I said, we have Owen, which is played by the guy, I think he was in Entourage, one of the main guys in Entourage, I don't know his name, but I recognize him from that show. And then um, you have the girl, which I didn't recognize, but there is somebody else in this film that I recognize as far as actors. Um, so they go to, uh, <laughs> they go to Grandma's house, to Owen's Grandma's house, and there we meet Grandma. And I'm telling you guys, when you guys meet the character of Grandma, her name is Violet, but I just call her Grandma, you guys are going to love her like right away because she's one of those grandmas that tells it like it is. She says what what's on her mind. There's no filter here with this with this grandma, you know. It's she doesn't really hold back on what she thinks about uh, people and things. So, yeah, she kind of doesn't think highly of uh Isabel, you know. And she lets it known. She let it be known right away. She, she tells Owen, you know, um, and of course Isabel is like, oh, you know, she can only take so much because she just, you know, out of respect for the elderly, she doesn't say anything, and it, it makes kind of things worse between Owen and Isabel. So yeah, and there's also like you know, Owen's sister, um, but I'm not gonna talk about her. You guys will find out uh, more about her um, and when you watch the film. And I was surprised uh, that the girl from Excision was in this film, uh, Annalyn McCord. If you guys ever watch Excision, you guys uh, recognize like who Pearl is in the film. Um, I think she did a good job. So yeah, the writing is good here. The cinematography is good. Um, I can't really say a lot of any really bad things about this. It's just that the ending might might disappoint some people uh it felt rushed to me but 
the way the, the film builds up the tension in here, I mean, you can't, it's kind of hard to like put it in a, in a category because there's so many elements in the film. We got like a thriller, we got a lot of dark humor in here, we got um, a drama, I mean, this movie has a lot of these genres mixed in and it, it makes for a really unique feel to the film. Um, I thought the acting was good, I mean, and I've seen maybe like two other films by this director. And so I kind of, when I found this film and I, and I find out who the director was, I kind of knew what to expect from this film. Because a lot of his films, kind of like Excision or Tone Dev, they kind of have this dark humor in every of those films. Like this unique dark humor that this director has. And I really, with this film though, I think this is one of his best films so far that I've seen. I think it's better than Tone Dev. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Tone Dev, I have a review on the channel. Just look it up, you know. Um, also a good movie, but I think this movie surpasses that movie as far as the dark humor, as far as the characters. You know, like I said, so... And at the end of the day, it doesn't really drag. I mean, a lot of these movies drag. It does take a while to pick up, but at the end of the day, I can honestly say that I highly recommend this film for you guys. And I give this film a 9 out of 10 and I might even watch it right now again I was thinking about how funny this movie was how dark it was you know particularly the grandma and yeah I don't know I wasn't expecting this good of a movie um like I said if you guys are into dark humor you guys are gonna love this movie I'm gonna put it on your top five or top ten it really is a hidden gem and I think more people should know about it so yeah uh, like I said, give it a 9 out of 10. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have watched the film, let me know what you guys thought about it, alright? Peace.